Yeah, my car has this and oh my god. That engine will start. <laughs> this engine's like brand new. Holy crap. It actually started. All right, there is something cool I want to do with this, but I don't want to do it without you guys. My god, that is a big engine. See, I might have enough parts left over. Let's see what I can just slap back on here. Darn it. Okay, well, that was a short trip. Well, hang on. Does this car start? Maybe I can take this one. I don't think that's going to start. Nope, that's not going to start. By the time I run across one, I'm going to forget what I'm looking for. Or some... Holy crap. Guys, this thing has an LS engine in it. For it. And I don't just want to buy brand new parts because I'm trying to do this on somewhat of a budget and I'm trying to keep it somewhat cheap. So I did the right thing and I bought a whole uh, spare parts car. Brake fluid missing. I have... there's There was fluid in it. What do you... This is so crazy to think I'm about to drive my car in this game. Oops. Tis but a scratch. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Twisted Rides Gaming at YouTube channel, and on today's episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, I found my own car in the video game. And guys, I didn't do this by myself, I had a little help, but I'll tell you who it was here in a minute. But guys, check this out. I mean, if we're being realistic, it's called the uh, Bolt Chap... Chapman? At least that's what it's called. Uh, so we... When I mean we, me and RPM Games, we worked together a little bit. He did something a little special for me, and I'll show you here in a little bit because the car is dirty and you can't see it. But this is the same tire size I have on my car. Um, those aren't the wheels. Rims, that's the closest thing I could get. Um, the engine here, which uh, in the game is called the ZZ engine. Uh, my car actually has the center bolt valve covers. Actually, wait, here, let me show you here. Yeah, my car has this and Oh my god. That engine will start. <laughs> this engine's like brand new. Holy crap. Oh my god. Like, this car looks like a turd. But look at that engine. Oh my god. I had no idea that that was like that. Um, I did go into my game editor and I moved some things around. One, I added this engine. Two, I moved around some of this stuff in here. And you guys can do that. If you guys want, I'll make a video on how you guys can do this kind of stuff. And maybe, perhaps, uh, RPM will show me how to make a custom paint job for this car. So, let's get this thing back to the shop, and I'll show you a little bit more with it. Alright, $27,000 later. Oh, it's outside. And, holy crap, here we are. And this thing actually looks like my car already. I mean, my car's not missing wheels or anything, but... Uh, it looks like... I, can we crouch in this game? Okay, we can. Um, oop, need a rubber bushing... Oh, no, I wanted to zoom. I have no idea what kind of car that was. Um, looks like I need some brake work here, some bushings, springs. So this car looks like it he needs some heavy suspension work. Yep, all my brake stuff's gone. I got a spring there. Got the bushing, the exhaust is there, but this engine, though, I cannot believe this engine. I need to put some, some stuff in here real quick. We've got to see if this thing will fire. I bet you it will not take much to get this car to run. It won't take much at all. I mean, dude, the air filter even looks clean. That is unbelievable. Uh, what else do I need to top off? I guess I need to top this off. I can't. The radiator's in the way. I can't see. That's all you get anyway. Um. Oh, I guess there's no radiator cap. That's fine. The car can overheat. Uh, windshield washer reservoir, no one cares. There's just enough brake juice in there. We're fine. I guess I might as well make sure all my fuses are in here. And by doing that, I go part mount... Everything, oh, well, I guess everything wouldn't, if the cap wasn't on it, nothing to be in there anyway, so. All right. Oh, no, wait a minute. I think I just saw a problem. Crap. Oh, no, stop that. Stop it! Oh, I'm missing a drive shaft. Like I said, it needs a little bit of some suspension work before we can get her up and going. The front looks fine. Everything is here. Control arms are here. I suppose the wheels wouldn't be on if it was missing brake pieces. Okay. Let's see if this turtle fire... Oh, near a steering wheel. Oh, man, this interior definitely needs a bit of a cleaning. Holy crap. It actually started. Wish my car sounded that good in real life. Alright, I guess let's... 
Well, first I kind of want to clean it. So let's start with that part first. Yeah, so here we are in the wash bay. I have no idea what color this car is. I'm pretty sure it's wrong. But we will fix that here in a second. Interior detailing kit. Yeah, sure, let's clean the inside. Not like my car is clean in real life anyway, but... Alright, car wash. I wish this game... I wish you could manually wash the car. I think that'd be a lot better. Oh, wow. This car actually looks really nice. Oh, wow. It is identical to my car. Okay, I didn't have to do anything. Looks really blue, though. I don't know why. Yeah, this looks identical to my car. <laughs> I couldn't see it under the dirt, but yeah, this is my car. I need to figure out why it's blue, though. I want to see here. Let's send it to the paint booth and see why it looks blue. Move car. I haven't played this game in a hot minute. Paint shop. All right. Let's see. Paint. Paint the car. Oh, wow. That's the color it's supposed to be? Okay, we're going to do that. Solid. No. I want gloss. And here's why. Paint the car. Okay. Now I did that. Now I need to do... Alright, come on. Finish painting the car already. No, 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 no. Oh, here we go. Bingo. That don't look right. There we go. Perfect. Wow, does my car really look this blue? I mean, I guess I don't really think about it in person when I look at my car. No, I uh, I sent pictures of my car to uh, RPM Games, and he actually found a way to put them in the game. It's not hard to do, I'm sure. He just... Uh, he does this as a hobby. And, man, I have to tell you, I have to thank you a lot. This is really cool. If you guys haven't checked him out, I'm going to put a link up in the right corner. Go check him out. He does cool stuff like this all the time. He really likes this game. Uh, he does My Garage on occasion and does a handful of model car stuff. So go give him a sub and check his channel out. Yeah, buddy, thank you very much. for This is really cool. I have no idea what this scratch is from on my car. It's been that way since I bought it. Right about here, there used to be Gatorade bottle scratches from an old boss of mine, like showing his driving skills like he was like digging it one way and then digging it the other way and then scratching it back this way and out of this entire hood there's only like one dent like right there and that's it the rest of the car is pretty clean well except for right here there's a little bit of a you can actually see it. there's a little bit of a wrinkle right here i'm gonna have to show you guys my car someday like the actual like the actual car because it's it's a pretty cool car i wish all this crap had like that's fine. So, we have some suspension work to take care of. So, let me get it on my rack and we can take care of that. I might fix the trunk lid because mine, mine doesn't look that cruddy in real life. Uh, the doors are fine. So, I need a back right door. Quarter panel is a little dinked, but that's, that's fine. Because, you know, my car isn't the straightest, prettiest thing in the world either. So, let's take you back to the shop. Uh, first car lifter. Alright, there is something cool I want to do with this. But I don't want to do it without you guys. My god, that is a big engine. So, I'm saving that for later. There is something cool I want to do, but I want to wait till my real life YouTube channel uh, comes out. Which, if you guys aren't aware of that, me and a friend of mine are actually uh, starting a YouTube channel. They basically take cars like this, get them running, and get them back on the road again. Among other things, like carbon fiber, engine swaps, body swaps... Whatever I could possibly do with what little budget I have, we will try to do. Uh, we're even thinking about putting a Crown Vic engine in a Pinot. So, definitely stay tuned for that. Oh, those are... Okay, those wipers are on the windshield. I thought... I was like... I was like, I know my wipers stick up in real life. But, anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing up. Oh. Okay, what... Oh, I was like, what is blue around the exhaust? I need... See, I might have enough parts left over. Let's see what I can just slap back on here. Darn it! Okay, well, that was a short trip. Uh, springs. Do I have springs? No. Rear shock comes over. No. Do I have anything? Do I have a drive shaft? Hey, I have one of those. So I can put that in. 
Oh, man. I am tired. I think it... Yeah, I pretty much pulled an all-nighter last night editing one of my videos. Whew, what a night. So, I'm a little on the tired side. I don't even have rubber bushings? My god. Man, I have been slagging. I need to get me some parts. I need... Rubber bushing. Uh, the big ones. Yeah, just load up on, on them things. Get about $200 worth. Why? Because every car in this game needs these in, in one form or another. Might as well get a handful of these too while we're at it. Brakes. I need good brake stuff. No items in this. Alright, need two drums. Uh, as a matter of fact, I actually just did a bunch of brake work on my car. I put, uh... uh what did I just put on it? <laughs> Bear with me. I'm tired. Uh, I just put new calipers, lines... No, I didn't have to do lines, but I did do hoses. The rotors were just horrible. They were absolutely horrible. You know, I kind of like how my garage does this. It narrows it down by the kind of car that you have. I think that, like, helps it a lot better. Do I have one spring or two spring? Screw it. I'm getting two springs. Yep. Uh, I believe it was Shock Absorber B. I really don't know what the difference between the two is. Um, okay, let's see if that gets this thing back together. Oh, I already have one spring. Coolio. Believe it or not, I actually had to put different springs in my car a while back because uh, the car sagged so bad. Like, really bad. Like, I thought my shocks were bad. So I put a different set in that was out of, like, a... I think it's like F41 uh, GM suspension package kind of thing. And, uh... Oh, that's not the button. Okay. It was like a F41 suspension package thing. In which I did go to look. And, oh. Let's see here. Water pump pulley. Leaf spring U-bolt. Screw it. We'll just get four of these. What was I talking about? You don't remember? Crap. Well, I don't remember either. Darn it, guys. What was I just talking about? <laughs> oh, the, the rear springs on my car. So the car was sagging real bad, especially on, like, the driver's side. And no, not because my, my fat butt was in it. It was They would do that even with me out of the car. It wasn't any better with me in it. But it would sag really bad on the driver's side. And I'm like, what is going on with this goofy car? So I actually wound up... Uh, oh, I didn't need to do those. Um, I wound up putting a different set of springs in off of a F41 car, which is, uh, it's a slightly stiffer suspension. I got a nice, uh, eight and a half inch rear end out of it, which if you don't know what that means, the eight and a half inch part is the, uh, the size ring gear that belongs in here. So like the, the gear that goes behind here is eight and a half inches tall. The one that's in my car now is only about seven and a half inches tall. And it's got a 308 final drive ratio. The one that I got, the one that I have is like a 273 or whatever it's you know highway gears nothing impressive um see now i need some rims wait is that all i need holy crap that's all i need wait a minute did i ever oh i never did the rubber bushing I need to replace you small rubber bushing i actually can't believe how decent a shape this car is actually in oh so anyway i did put the new springs in and it came up Maybe a little bit, like not too, too much. So, I oh, I guess I need to buy the wheels. Well, after I got my house, um, how do I, no. There we go. Uh, after I bought my house, I finally had the time to empty out the trunk and put everything inside. And the car actually sits really high in the back end now because I have these stiff springs and where's the oh there's the rims because I have these very stiff springs back there now and the car's like all jacked up it's hilarious 15 and I need two no backspacing bingo I wish I had more steelies like this I think that'd look really nice I'm getting way off track guys and I am sorry I don't need I don't need these I need tires Let's go with a nice little sporty tire here. Need two, 15 inch. Get a nice 215 on there. 235. You know what? Hang on. You'll see what I'm doing. Whoa. What just changed here? I did not do that. 225. 
25, 60, 16 times 4. Now, let's see here. Car parts, tune up body shop. Yeah, you guys see what I'm doing. I'm going to show you what I want to do with my car. If I can find a decent rim that matches my aesthetic that I'm going for. Uh, they don't have a thing that looks like an IROC wheel in here, do they? Th these kind of look like old Camaro wheels, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. These are in my garage, but they still look good. Uh, crap. You know, these kind of look like IROC wheels, but not exactly. Uh, I'm kind of torn between these guys. I don't know which one I want. A roulette rim? You know, I think that'd look pretty sharp on this car. These would look pretty good, too. I guess MK23 is playing Space Engineers. Alright, you know what? We're going to go with these. Whoop, too much. 16 inch. Okay, now, the wheels that are on my car currently, which are these, not Crown Vic wheels, but they're these, um, they're the wheels that came on my car. And I had Camaro wheels on it for a while. And I'm wanting to go with. A set of IROC wheels because I've had this image in my head if you guys uh, watch any of my my garage stuff I said that I wanted to take a caprice and I wanted to uh, make a lightweight one you know and do some cool stuff with it oh, God I forgot about this silly mini game um, and I wanted to make a lightweight carbon fiber one with the with a powerful motor in it and then I got also got the idea of like oh what if I did like an Impala SS version of it I guess I just gave that away. No one will remember. That's all right. Um, and I want to basically build a car with... Oh, wow. That's not lagging for me, but that's lagging for the recording. So if this game's been really laggy, I'm very sorry. It's, it doesn't look like that for me. So anyways... Uh, I was wondering what one of these cars would look like if someone did, like, an Impala SS. Like factory option car not like something with aftermarket parts on it and going crazy like stock parts so i'm basically building a car with all stock gm parts and then someday whenever i do get it together it's gonna have like a gm center console in it i actually have an overhead console i just can't find it anywhere crap i was at my mom and dad's house today i should have looked for it because it's somewhere and i paid quite a pretty penny for it and, uh, the, uh, dirt bag I bought it from, <laughs> I was at my aunt's funeral, and he sent me an email and said, hey, the shipping wound up costing more than I thought it would, I'm getting gypped out of, like, 40 bucks. And if I'm being brutally honest, I could have cared less. It's like, you know, if you're gonna ship something, you need to be aware of what your shipping costs are. And it's not like I was being mean, but it's like, you know, I met like awake I can't really get to the phone L I mean I at least checked it was like I, I can't type a long-winded response for this guy I'm sorry so by the time I got a chance to answer him back he had blocked me I couldn't answer him back and it's like oh no now what do I do I was like because I was actually you know what I, I mean these things are hard to find I might as well go ahead and give him the extra money you know it's fine so I can't get a hold of him to give him the money I'm like, oh, what the hell? So the overhead console finally comes in, and there's a like a bunch of tape all over it. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. You know, what's what's that all about? And uh, I wound up looking. He cut a hole in the box, and he stole the flashlight out of it. Which, uh, if you guys don't know much about like the third generation Camaro uh, IROCs and Trans Ams, they actually had an overhead console with a built-in flashlight that you could remove and, and mess with. And the guy took it out of there. <laughs> like, I'm I'm not as upset about it now as I was then, but I was like, really? It was like, you know, you stole that flashlight out of there because it's worth like another $100 on its own or, or 60 bucks or whatever. It's like, fine. I'll just, uh, I'll have, so what, I, what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to have one 3D printed that says Impala on it or Impala SS or something. You know, I think this car is ready to drive other than it's missing a back door. Can we go down, please? There we go. 
Oh, I forgot. I need to fix my trunk lid. See if we can do that real quick. Or maybe it's too far gone. Hopefully not. Oh, wait. That's not a... This is a body repair table. Um, no, not that one. Oh, no. I guess I can't fix my trunk lid. Well, that sucks. Well, I'll tell you, I'm going to run to the junkyard real quick. You guys can come along if you want. Oh, I need a steering wheel, too. So I'm going to run to the junkyard, get me a door, a new trunk lid. I guess all my lights and stuff work. Wow, those look like LEDs. That's kind of cool. Yep, so I'm going to do all of that real quick. So come along. I need to look at the map, don't I? Well, hang on. Is this car start? Maybe I can take this one. I don't think that's going to start. Nope, that's not going to start. Taxi. Ah, my home away from home. I used to love going to the junkyard before the prices on everything went insanely up. So I'm going to start digging through some parts here. See if I can find me a Bolt Chapman. It was a right rear door, wasn't it? Not like I was paying total attention. Maybe, perhaps, if I find another one, I can just buy it as a parts car. Ooh, it's a cool-looking car. A little front-wheel drive car, but it's all right. I can make that rear-wheel drive easy. I don't know why. I just love the idea of, like, just cramming a giant engine in a little car. Oh, Luxor Baron. What the hell is a Luxor Baron? I don't even remember that car. I'm going to have to look one of those up. Too bad it's not a right rear door. It looks like it'd fit my car. That's the same pile. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a Salem Flamo? Yeah, I want a V8 swap one of these. I think that'd be pretty awesome. I mean, dude, look at the room in that engine bay. That is unbelievable. Uh, junk pile. Let's see. Brockel Moonhawk. Looks a bro. Is this the same pile? Oh my god, it is. Another junk pile. Buzz. Uh, I have no idea what this is. A Volvo, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, nothing here. Alright, let's check this one out. Ooh, it's a neat looking taillight. Uh, Zephyr. You know, I've never had luck with the junkyard in this game, ever. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. It's like I'm never gonna find the crap I need to, like, get a car put back together. And plus, look at... Look at this. A 12-inch rim. What am I going to do with a 12-inch rim? I've never understood the junkyard in this game. I think the older ones were a little bit better, but that's just me. And no, I'm not I'm not trying to take a dump on the game already. I just... 19 inches, 20, 24 inches? That is unbelievable. Uh, let's see here. No. No. Uh, Cabello for that. Uh, belt oh, that's the C8 Corvette. They have the C8 Corvette in this game. Which came out with one of the uh, DLCs that I bought. Julia Cook, if you guys want to see that, let me know. I'll, I'll work on one of those. Hey, a 15-inch rim. Kind of looks like a Fox body rim. Um, yeah, I really don't want to have to just go out and buy a new door. I'd really much rather, you know, do this like the My Garage way. Uh oh By the time I run across one, I'm going to forget what I'm looking for. Uh, I mean, the parts are just so all over the place. Does this game have too many cars? Is that the problem? You know, unlike my garage, like... There's a the problem with this game, though. There's too many cars I don't like. Which kind of sucks. And, and guys, I, I'm just... Ooh, there's an old Oldsmobile. See, I would I would fix this car up right here. I like this car. I like that car. That, that looks like a... That, that is a Chevelle. There's another Oldsmobile. I don't know what that is, but I kind of like it. It's a four-door. No, oh, it's just a wolf. Never mind. Uh, I don't know what that is. That might be like an old Cadillac or Buick or something. I don't know what this is, but it's cool and yellow. Uh, Looks like an old Malibu. I don't know. I can't tell. Got that lag on that screen up there. Scares me. Uh, Delray High Road. Oh, that looks like an LS timing cover. Moonhawk headlights. Bolt Mosquito MK6. What car is that? I don't even remember that car. 
Oh, come on. Can I please just... Ooh, Satsuma. I need to play that game again. I haven't played this game in so long. That game is it on a stick. I really wish they would just come out with uh, my winter car already. I think that'll be a just a blast of a time. Just, you know, more reasons and ways to die. Engine head B. Oh, this is the, tra uh, the W motor. Steering wheel Atlanta. I do need a steering wheel, but I don't want that one. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, Zephyr, bolt cape. Oh, come on. How hard is it to find a door for a chat man? Do you know how many years they made those for? Like, I think all the doors from... Well, no, not all the doors. I think all the doors from, like, 1980 to 1990 are interchangeable. Yeah, I'm, like, right back where I started. Um, uh, Sam... Oh, Crown Vic bumper. Something really weird going on with that wheel. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a 21-inch. That's the problem. Holy crap. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. Same bigger pile. Uh, whoa, it's a neat looking rim. Yeah, it definitely looks like a 21 inch. Hey, I found a stock Chapman rim. That's not what I need. A blue seat. For a bolt cape? What the hell? Alright. Uh, Chieftain. Ooh, that engine is shot. I wish the picture showed you how shot the part was. Uh, Cape NK7A. Oh, come on. Can I check this pile, or did I check this one already? Uh, no. Come on, just give me the door I need, and I'll be on my way. My car will be together. I'll take it for a couple laps around the track. Uh, I don't know what a Barone is, but I can find all sorts of parts for that thing. If I was any closer to my computer monitor, I'd, I'd be touching the screen. Um, can I check this pile already? Yep. Well, wrong way. Uh, just need a back door. That's all I need. Crap, I need a trunk lid, too. Would it be easier just for me to get a parts car? Like, seriously, at this point. <sighs> okay. Well, guys, unfortunately, I think I've checked all I can possibly check. There's nothing left to check here. Uh, I think this is the last pile and the only one I haven't looked at here. Bolt. Oh, it's an old Camaro hood. Camaro bumper. See, I can find parts for all these cars, but I can't find the parts for the cars. I don't know what it is with games, but it's like they know what you're up to. Ooh. Night's Souls 442. Alright, guys. I have to say, I don't like giving up easily. Whoa. I kind of like this car just because of all the different colors that are on it. This is a Flamo, isn't it? Just like a body kit or something on it? Oh, wow. Look at that engine. That's a nice engine. It's got like a hopped up motor and it's got chrome trim on it. I almost kind of like this car. I might take this one home with me. If you guys want me to build a car like this, let me know. Holy crap, look at those seats. It's kind of a neat looking car. Now, we'll save that one for later. What do we have over here? I'm looking for either a parts car or some. Holy crap. Guys, this thing has an LS engine in it. Well, if you guys want me to take this thing home, let me know. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy it anyway. If you guys want me to fix this one up, let me know. Ah, uh, it's the Garcia version. I'll explain that if I actually wind up building it. Uh, 29000 Not bad for an LS swapped uh, 350Z. Yep, buy it for that. I'll shove it in storage and never look at it again. Because that's how this game works. Uh, let's see. No. No. I'll tell you what, if I find it, I'll see you guys back at the shop. Or unless I find a cool car or something. Alright guys, well, I didn't have any luck finding the parts I was looking for. And I don't just want to buy brand new parts, because I'm trying to do this on somewhat of a budget. And I'm trying to keep it somewhat cheap. So I did the right thing, and I bought a whole uh, spare parts car. Um, which, oh, it's missing a fender. That's perfect. Well, I need this door. Alright, so I might need some windows. That's fine. I need the trunk lid. Um, which, you know what? I think... I think something cool I can do is, I think I can just go ahead and... Oh, the engine's not in the greatest shape. That's fine. Um, something I might do... Oh, I need a steering wheel. I'm going to see if I can paint them in the booth. And then go ahead and... Come on. Grab the... Oh, I got to... No. Come on. 
Alright, that's kind of silly. I should just be able to grab that. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, I want to see if I can paint the parts, like, individually. So I can just put them on the car and they look perfectly fine. Uh, ah, paint booth. Let's see, paint parts. Chapman. Let's see here. Can I... Whoa. Uh, oh, hey, I can put the library on it. That's, that's cool. Uh, let's see. No, can I get a better... There we go. Metallic, solid. I don't remember what I actually wound up putting on the car. <laughs> was it matte? I think it was a matte finish. Wow, this door looks like really nice. Like, almost too nice. It's the right library, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, saturation, brightness. I don't remember what I did. Okay, yep, we're going to do that. All right, cool. I got the door painted. So basically, all I have to do is slap that on a car, and it's good to go. If I can just do that with the trunk lid. Oh, man. That's almost, like, too nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at how shiny that is. It's way too nice for me. So I'm going to do is do solid gloss, matte, matte finish. Ah, factory color, black. Matte finish. There we go. Perfect. It's crazy to think that this is what my trunk lid looks like, like on its own. I have to tell you what, RPM, you did an amazing job on this. This is weird. It's like looking my, at my trunk lid off of my car in a video game. Just trying to wrap my head around that. It's just it's really wild. Oh, I, you actually did a good job back here because I know I didn't even send you a picture of the back of the car, but how you got that to wrap around. Very nice work. Very nicely done. <laughs> that was cool. You can see where I kind of cleaned it a little bit. I did paint this already, didn't I? I think I did. I don't know. Find out when I stick it on a car. So now the car that I have outside, and I'm, since I'm robbing parts off of it, what I can do with that is I can just go ahead and like build that one the right way. Do some uh, nice, good stuff to that one. So bam. That door's done and totally not the right color at all. all right, put this one on here. Now that looks... Oh wow. That does not look right at all. What did I do on the rest of the car? I don't remember. Yeah, it's fine. It ships. Uh, let's see. You know what? I think I want to... Oh, I need to put the steering wheel in it. Um, there we go. What, how do I... Oh, there. Can I... Oh, there we go. Steering wheel, 94%. It does not get any better than that. Let's go drive this thing. Watch it find some silly, ridiculous way not to let me drive. Um, let's see here. Racetrack. I think, yeah, I have my controller. Yeah, we have a 78 Chapman and 1990 Chapman. Brake fluid missing. I have, there's, there was fluid in it. What are you, what are you griping about? Come on, stop it. Get me out. Get me out. Come on. Okay. Ah, oh, you goofy game. There's brake fluid in here. See? It's got some. That's all it needs. Now watch me not... Watch the game not let me drive. Why does the bottle look like crap? Watch them not let me drive because there's no uh, windshield washer fluid in the reservoir. Matter of fact, I need to take that out because my windshield washer didn't even work in my car. Actually, no. It does work now. It didn't when I first got it, but now for whatever reason it works. Okay, now can we go... I don't... Crap. Okay, let me just go to the map. Racetrack... Yes, please. 1990 Chapman. Coolant missing. Uh. The car doesn't have a reservoir. Because, uh. I didn't mod one in it. Uh. Yeah, hang on a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> 
All right, guys, so I got that solved and figured out. So here we are out at the racetrack. Is there anything I can do with my view here? Or not work? I guess I'm stuck looking at what I'm looking at. Oh, there we go. This is so crazy to think I'm about to drive my car in this game. <laughs> God, this is loud. I need to turn that down. I even like the wheel sitter on this. Oh, wrong button. I actually can't believe how controllable this is. This isn't bad. Not even sure if you guys can hear me or not. It seems pretty loud. Is but a scratch. <laughs> Is this what it'd be like to drive my car in real life in third person view? I don't know, it'd be a funny thought. Brakes could use a little more work. Oh, that's fun. Come on. There we go. You know, I should probably change the gear ratio to whatever it's supposed to be in real life. All right. I'm trying to remember what RPM's record was because he said he took this thing around for a lap. Might have to look at our conversation and see what he did because uh, the engine he has he used the standard engine I modded this engine in because it looks like the one that's supposed to be in the car in real life even though it's a high horsepower motor the thing tops out of like 316 horsepower stock shift shift there we go whoa found the shift button Come on, real life at red lines at 4,500. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Second gear does wind out to about 70 miles an hour. I wish it was an MPH, because I know what that does. And I can't see the speedometer hardly. Oh, don't hit the thing. I can't tell if that's... much oh, miles an hour, I... Oh no, that's. Oh no, that is miles an hour. I think that's 100. Uh, good way to test it. 60 is 100. Yeah, it's pretty on point. Not bad. I don't think I've ever hit fourth gear at wide open throttle in my car. Oh, it's always fun hitting the back roads in the morning with my car. Oh, don't screw it up now. And time. Minute 56. Alright, now let's see what he did. Okay, I could have swore he gave me a time and I can't find it. So, I'm going to see if it actually is on par within real life. First gear will upshift at about 35 if I'm really in it. Second gear will upshift at about 70 miles an hour.
fun. Alright guys, well I have had a blast with this car in today's episode. Um, I can't believe how quick this thing went together. I, I didn't do a single thing to this engine. It basically came out of the box like this. But hey, you know what? Not bad for a $300 car with missing keys. Yes, that's legit how I got this car. The owner lost the keys to it and they didn't want it anymore. So I found the car and the uh, <clears throat> keychain with about 50 keys on it that they lost under the seat. Actually, I didn't find the keys. My dad found the keys and uh, I drove home with a very very nice car i mean given i mean the car actually does look like i mean these are pictures of the car so yeah it is a little rusty but all this actually cleaned up and i actually filmed the process of me clean uh cleaning it for my real life channel and that video will be coming out here in probably a month or so i know i keep talking about my real life channel a lot guys here's the reason why i don't want to start uploading stuff now one my pilot episode i haven't finished filming because the crap car we're trying to get going we haven't got going yet so that's part of the reason why too unlike this uh like the whole you know video gaming universe there's not a trend i have to keep up with so i don't have to like push a video out right away to keep up with a trend so i can just kind of upload at my own leisure if i get a project done i can upload it but i do want to be consistent with it unlike the way i've been with this channel so for that i am sorry but here we are. Tell you what, I need to find a set of wheels like this in real life for my car. But I do have a set of IROC wheels I'm putting on my car. And when I do that, you guys will be the second to know. So, thank you guys very much for watching. RPM Games, thank you very much for this awesome uh, library for my car. This is so sick to have a even more accurate representation of my car in a video game. I mean, it's not quite this rusty, but I mean, it is that rusty, if you know what I mean. Uh, I mean, Beam and Drive is accurate to its own point, but this is a whole different accuracy that I can't do in Beam and G Drive. I'm sure I can make this library for it in Beam and G, but I don't know. This just kind of holds a special place for me. So, I will see you guys in the next video.